right? Tomorrow is it. So let's go over it one more time. Mr. Pig. We enter the east entrance, three o'clock, right? As the tellers are changing shifts. All right, Mr. Dog. Then we move back to the vault. I set the charges. Mr. Horse. I'm on crowd control. I'm in the lobby with the hostages. I got my gun on and making sure that nobody makes any sudden moves. And if they do, blam. 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 No, not me. I didn't even say nothing. Blam. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 come on. I thought the plan was no one gets hurt. Yeah, well, the best laid plans of mice and men melt in your mouth, not in your hands. Big Mo, can we talk to you for a second? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, what? Look, uh, how do you know this guy? I've never done a job with him before. Okay, he was the driver for the Fort Worth job. Did 10 years in the clink, didn't snitch once. Okay, he just, he seems like kind of a wild card. I'm, he's been playing with that knife all day. I don't want to hear another word about it, okay? I mean, look at him now. Ooh, ooh, unhealthy, and also very sinister. All right, enough. We can trust him. And that's more than I can say about you two. So get back down there, let's finish this. All right. All right, what do we do next? At 310, we blow the charges. This is when the alarm will sound. Right, and then we have two minutes to collect the cash and meet at the rendezvous point. Mr. Horse? If I hear sirens, I alert the driver that we've been compromised. Sounds like Mr. Horse knows what he's doing. Meanwhile, I'm dousing the whole lobby in gasoline. I'm getting it all over all the hostages. I'm getting in their eye sockets. I'm making them pray, that kind of thing. And then I'm gonna take my Zippo and I'm gonna hold it real close like I'm gonna burn them. And they're not gonna know whether I'm gonna burn them or not. Spoiler alert, I'm gonna burn them. Big Mo, a word? Yeah. I mean. Do we really need to clarify this? Listen, I've known Lou Scannon for the past I, I, 20. I, I'm, yeah. I'm sorry, uh, did you just say his name is Lou Scannon? As in? Loose candy. Okay, lift it up! That guy got pinched, smuggling the grand piano down the Panama Canal. Spent nine months in a Costa Rican gulag, eating only paste and cereal. I think he's firing his gun through the roof. I don't give a shit! Sit back down right now! All right, boss. All right, what do we do next? We're back at the safe house by 4 p.m. and we're on a 4.30 flight to Bora Bora. That's when I start shooting all of you guys and take the money for myself! Oh, come on! Wait, 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 That's exactly what I'm gonna do! Jesus! He said no! All right, Lou, Lou, out! Take five! Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> he can be a bit much. Are you kidding me? Look, there's no way I'm working with that guy! Listen, Mr. Pig, if you want to do Look, this... Look, Big Mo, I gotta say, we're both uncomfortable with working with this insane person. It's... Now, not one more word out of you twos! Lou Scannon took a bullet for my baby! Well, who's trying to kill your baby? That's not important! If you want to do this job, you're gonna do it Lou Scannon and become the richest sons of bitches in the South Pacific. Or... All right, all right, all right, I'm in. I'll do the job. Dog? Oh, oh, God! 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 Oh,